Alright you guys, so for today's video we are going to be making an extremely, extremely beginner friendly project. We are going to be doing Secret Santa with Python and I know you guys are probably wondering like how is that going to work, like you know what's going on here. Don't worry, I'm going to answer all your questions in this video. A lot of you guys were actually in favor of me doing more computer science related videos, more programming uh, projects, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to start this and really dive into these types of videos. So make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like down below so I can reach more people. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss out on all the new videos that I have to come. And yeah, I don't want to waste any of your more... What was I about to say there? I don't want to waste any of your time. Let's just get right into this video. All right, so before we start coding it up, let's talk about this. Let's formulate a plan. Let's see what we're actually going to do. So for anybody who doesn't know what Secret Santa is, it's pretty much when a group of people get together and they do a gift exchange but the gift giver remains anonymous until the day that they exchange gifts. So what this Python program is going to do is we're gonna get all of the participants info, we're gonna get the name, the emails, the requests, and we're going to randomize who these um, gift givers are gonna get, and then we're just gonna send them out, and then everybody will get an email of their secret Santa that they have, and that's just pretty much what this program is gonna do. This is really good, obviously, for virtual Secret Santa because you know we can even get their address and then send that out to the gift giver. The only person that has to input this information will be the coder, which is you guys, the programmer, and then that's pretty much how the program will go. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna obviously go in more in depth with everything, but I'm gonna be using PyCharm for my IDE. So let's head over to PyCharm and let's get into this project. All right, so this walkthrough is gonna be pretty self-explanatory. I'm just starting off by creating a privacy Python file, and it's gonna have my Gmail and its password that I'm gonna be using to send out all of these emails. And then I'm just going to continue by making the Secret Santa class. And like I said, we had to formulate a plan. So now I know exactly what I'm doing. My class is gonna have three main methods. It's gonna have an assign method. It's gonna have a get info method and a send emails method. And it's gonna do exactly what we talked about. Also have a repository up on github with these two main files that we're going to be using if at any point you feel lost and you feel like you just need to look at the code more extensively so this get infos method is going to be the bulk of the input that we're getting from the user and it's pretty much going to ask all the questions that we need to know for the secret santa like how many people are participating what's the budget who are the people what are the emails addresses stuff like that and for the sake of simplicity for this mini project we're going to assume that all of the input that this program takes is going to be correct and that you input it correctly like the names the addresses emails we're going to assume that it's all correct and a helpful tip is that if you know you have you know a decent amount of people participating in the secret santa it would be helpful to have a separate text file that has all of their information so you can just copy and paste that into the program when you run it for loop to iterate through every participant that we have and after I get every person's information I'm going to store it into our info dictionary that I have in our init and I'm going to store their email their address and their request next we're going to work on the assign method and this method is going to randomize who everybody gets for this secret person I started off by using list comprehension for the choices list and it's just going to contain all the choices that we have to choose from for a secret person we're going to be using the random library and so we're going to have to import that and that is just going to help us choose a random person from our choices list so a couple things that this for loop is going to do we're going to assign every secret person 
for a person but we have a couple constraints that we have to watch out for so we have to make sure that the secret person is not equal to the person and we have to make sure that we don't have any pairs just to avoid somebody being left out so for example if you have three people and person a is assigned to person b and person b is assigned to person a then person c has nobody so to avoid this we just have a couple restrictions in our while loop feel free to pause the video or look at my github repository but at the end here we're just popping every secret person from our choices list and we're also adding every person and their corresponding secret person to our selection dictionary in our name so in order to send the email we're going to be using the smtp lib module and i'm just showing you the documentation but i'll have all the resources in the description as well as you being able to just look at my code but you can literally just copy and paste there's already online resources to do this but we're just going to be sending an email to every single person inside of our selection dictionary and we're going to be creating a message to send to them that tells them who their secret person is as well as all of the information that pertains to their secret person as you can see the sender gmail and the password that we had in the beginning is going to be essential for this part because it's going to be used to actually log into the server and send emails to everybody that is participating in the secret center What I'm doing here is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just pretty much getting all of the information of the secret person by using our info dictionary that we have stored in our init. And I'm just creating a message to send to the actual secret Santa. Um, that's every single person that is in the selection dictionary. And here you can just see that I'm using string formatting to actually input all of the information into that message. That's including the person, the secret person, the budget, and this is in order of how I put it inside of the message. So our start method is pretty much going to call every single method in the order that we want it to be called. So you can just see me doing that there. And then where my program is actually going to run, I'm going to initialize my class and then actually call the start to run my entire program. So before we actually run the program, you want to make sure that you have less secure apps enabled for the Gmail that you're using to actually send out all of these emails. But once you do that, that's pretty much authenticating that you're allowing less secure apps to use your email and access your account. And then as you can see here, I'm just typing in random um, inputs for test one, two and three. And the emails are real so we can actually see the results. But everything else is pretty much fake. So we're going to see what this actually does. So that is pretty much it with this code with me session. I really hope you guys enjoyed coding as much as I did. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to follow me on my Instagram or leave a comment down below in the comment section. And also I'll have all of the links and the resources in the description for you guys to go check out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.